Welcome back everyone to my Crash Bash 200% will prove me with Renegade and now we're going to go into Space Bash and I remember this name because I'm telling you now, whenever I had cousins, friends over and we played Crash Bash, this was pretty much the stage that we picked for Bash games. You don't know why? Well, I'll tell you why. So, now the difference between this one and the other Bash games is that you can actually fall through the floor. So if you have a TNT, you throw it, it's going to destroy your, uh, something on the floor. A little gap. So anyway, same controls as the uh, first Bash. There's Nitros and TNTs now. Now there's a new uh, few mechanics. There's a uh, collect speedy boots to move faster, like the Pogo games. If you get the Z, you will slow down. And if you get the mask, you gain immunity for one hit. That's it. So you collect one food to increase health, and you can pass the weight onto another player, like the Polar games. So. Funny enough, this has to probably the best crystal challenge, and you'll probably see us later, because it doesn't even take that long to do the crystal challenge at all. You see, now, let's say I want to try and get them in the floor, I can just hit a TNT there, and as you see, I've created a hole. It can be quite strategic if you're thinking, like, MLG-wise, but this isn't no MLG for game. So. Now, I'm going to try and show you, but well, this only has a set, a set period of time. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna get this and we're gonna go bam. Never mind. I still want to fall down a hole. There we go. Now, also, if you notice, this is actually based on the Crash Bandicoot 3 um, futuristic levels, like Gone Tomorrow and Future Frenzy. The majority of this game is like a cheery to Crash Bandicoot 3. So we have these people really like Crash Bandicoot 3, or they just thought it was cool to base it off it. I think it's probably one level that's probably based off Crash Bandicoot 2 slightly, but... I don't know. You can tell where they got the inspiration from, but anyhow. Let's get these speed shoes. Just jump over everything. I should not have done that. How did Tiny get hit then? Oh, I was going to say, I shouldn't have died from that. No crash. I'm not going to go over there, I'm going to wait it out. Because now he's going to be stuck, I can hit a Nitro. And then he can fall down the hole. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Three, two, one, go! Might just create a hole and that didn't explode on my screen, it just went poof. So let's, let's trap Tiny now. The, the computer really isn't that good if you surround them with holes, from what I've noticed over the years. You can sort of trap them in one area. And you can do that. So let's make a hole for him, or just hit him in the back. And there we go, Rilla Roo is a pad in his chest, yet again. So now onto the gem challenge, and as you saw, we did complete some of those um, trophy challenges quite easily. This should be uh, Walk in the Park. So you only have 40 seconds to defeat them. Now keep in mind what I said earlier, you can destroy the floors. It is very easy to do so. Like that, see? His TNT went up in the air and the TNT fell on his square and made him fall down to his death. And now I'm about to get killed in a bit. Right, now I'm going to give this to Titan. There we go. I can just jump out of the way. Crash, I can take down in one hit. I said crash, I can take down in one hit. There we go. No hassle at all. It doesn't really matter what character you have on this this game in particular, because the challenges are very easy. Again, this is just me talking, but you know. 
what I find easy and what you guys find easy are going to be completely different. So now onto the crystal challenge now. I love, love this crystal challenge. You'll see why right about now. Why well, I was just saying that I love this challenge, but basically you can't actually grab anything at all. You are stuck to just spinning or kicking or doing whatever the hell your character needs to do. So generally you can leave the other characters fight out and you can do this mission quite quickly if you cho so choose to. I like to take my time on this. So you can make this map a living nightmare. See? I can't believe that took me two tries. I, I don't even know what hit me the first time. Like I was running into the corner to spin a TNT. Just because I can and I fell down a hole. So I don't know if another TNT was there timing off or what. But regardless of that. The next part we're going to go into Desert Fox. Which is a brand new game. In this part we're going to go into Desert Fox. Which is a brand new game. And this game is actually quite fun. This type of mini game. So, destroy all your, your rules and objectives, destroy all your opponent's tanks, win by being the last creature standing, or if your health is the highest, when time runs out. L1 and arms to rotate your turret left and right, squares to fire main weapon, circle to drop mines, which are extremely powerful and completely overpowered, and you can collect extra mines and collect one fruit to increase your health. That's about it. Now, some characters like Rillaru, they do have different sort of uh, attacks compared to others. I mean, Dingo don't have the same attack, but... Like, uh, crashes, you'll see, will last a lot longer, and Tiny's does a lot more damage. Ours is just very quick. And we can fire two at a time. Come on, we gotta get perfect on this. No, we can't. Okay, as soon as I say that, we don't get perfect. Don't tell me that mine actually hit me. There we go. Mind you, I do like the theme for this mini game as a whole. I'm about to get. I should not have walked out. That was my fault. No, I'm I'm dead. Well, so maybe we'll be able to do this um, whole uh, voting thing if Dingo doesn't die. Yeah, we died. You see, the mines take off like at least half your health, if not more. Doesn't matter what character you are, they will do a significant amount of damage. And you have three of them, so you can pretty much kill most characters, you know, in, in a couple of hits. Like, maybe one or two bullets, and then one more, one mine, and that's it. And Ningo's probably going to kill himself. I had to take a hit there, because otherwise I would have got hit by the mine, and I don't want to get hit by the mine. So two of them are down, now I've got to get tiny. No! Oh, we both got hit by the mine. God damn. Well, that's another thing. If you get a tie, you don't actually get any points. We might be here a while. So if you really love this minigame, keep watching. If you really don't, you might want to skip it a little bit. We're going to be here for quite some time. And I should not have done that because I just hit myself and lost a lot of health from doing so. Oh my god. I'm not watching what I'm doing. I need a Wampa Fruit now. No crash. Train you go in. There we go. There we go. So we are, we are getting there. We are getting there. Taking a while, but you know. Being slow doesn't need to win the race. Oh, we should have no crash. Off oh, self, I'm gonna place a mine right here. I'm gonna be. Oh, that's gonna kill me. That is gonna kill me. No, it's not. Okay, because my own mine doesn't kill me. That's, that's somewhat reassuring. Uh, oh, we all win out at the same time, besides Dingo. 
So now Dingo's got a point, Tiny's got a point, Crash has got zero, and I've got two. Three, two, one, go! Get out of there. I was hoping Dingo wouldn't get hit then. Oh, that's gonna hit me! We can win this. We can win this. He's got one more hit, I've got one more hit. There we go. Mind you, what I do f tend to find is that some of the time the computer will actually huddle you in a corner. And that's when you're kind of well screwed because uh, you can't kill both of them at, at the same time unless they hit you and you've placed a mine down and it explodes. But now we're going to do gem challenge and this might also take me a few tries as well. Don't get me wrong, the mini game is actually quite fun, it's not that hard. But I, f I believe it's the amount of time they give you is a bit. Uh... Okay, so we've got 40 seconds to defeat them. I'm going to be stuck here for a while. Thank God I'm actually cutting out most of the mistakes, otherwise uh, this would be like a two parts by now, probably. I'm w I want Dingo to get hit by this mine. There we go. There we go, that's what you want to do, you want to abuse the um, invincibility. Ow. Hey, there we go, only just. I thought I was gonna hit my own bullet was gonna hit me, but okay. I'll take it. Okay, right, sorry about that. Um I just had a little phone call, so you probably won't have seen that. But anyhow, anywho, anywho, we're gonna do the crystal challenge. Uh, again, this is one of the crystal challenges I can't remember. Okay, second attempt. Now, basically, we have to avoid the water peril. First thing you want to do, get out of the corner, because the computer just cornered me, and I could not get out of it. That, that honestly, God, that's what happened. It was, it was not fun. It was not fun at all, and I'm about to probably get killed. So, you have 1 minute 30, so... I don't want to do that. He hit himself, so that's good. Oh, I got hit. No. No. That's not good. That is really not good. Oh, he hit Crash anyway. Yay! Thank you, military. You have served me well. Now, seeing as we've got some time, I think we're going to go on to the boss. I think that would be a very good course of action. So we're going to go on and fight the Berminator. No kidding. Well, we gotta get as many crystals as we uh, possibly can. Basically. Now this boss is quite fun, I have to I do have to say. And this is a reference to Crash Bandicoot 2, actually. So Berminator defeat the polar boss and his army mechanical bears, as you can see. Oh, or probably guess that the bear is from Crash Bandicoot 2. The big one and this little one. So in this game, there are some references to Crash Bandicoot 2, but what you want to do, you want to run away from the missile when it goes off, and you want to push these guys off the edge. That's about it. Then we get the missile, and then we can aim with the directional pad or analog stick. I'm doing D-pad. Find it better. Shoot him in the face. And then it will just uh, start to destroy part of the platform. So, gotta be careful. And then he'll shoot out two uh, mechanical bears. Now, you, you hit a little chimes, you wanna go now. They're quite easy to push off. They, they can charge you. Like that. They're pushing me off now. Let's get this guy. How am I still falling? I kept falling off the edge four times. That's, that was a bit weird. Come on, Miller. There we go. Let's 
Go get a missile again. In the face. That really had a that has a weird hitbox. It really looked like it was gonna go past them. But anyhow, use another bomb, and then we've only got half the platform. I should not be on this side. I do not want to be. I'm just gonna keep tapping square because I know I'm gonna fall off if I don't. Oh, come on, Villa! You can, you can pull through. I know you can. You're gonna earn massive points if you can. There we go. One missile ordered for Mr. Polar Bear, and he's down. So, uh, the small polar bear, or sun polar bear, helped kill daddy bear. He's going to be proud as hell. His mum's not going to like him that much, is he? So anyway, now we can go on to Warpoom 3. And I'll give you a little preview of what uh, Warpoom 3 consists of. So, we have another uh, a few more levels here and there. We have a new mini game, and we have the second one from Metal Fox. Now I'm going to show you Big Bad Fox's requirements. So we need 15 trophies, 10 gems, and 7 crystals. Now as you can probably see, we've got 9 gems. So we need one more gem, we need all the crystals, and we need... We need, well, we've already got all the crystals that we need. We need one more gem, and we need all the trophies. Now I'm going to say this from the get-go. I don't like Enbolism's Crystal Challenge. If you played the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we'll save over this one, why not? And in the next part, we will go on to Enbolism and see if I don't start screaming.